What's going on guys, it's your boy Drew and we are back with week 3 against the Fresno State Bulldogs as they are 1-2, and two, we are 2-0 and oh, and this Alaska University Mountaineers dynasty has here's some of the statistics as the stats and stuff are obviously skewed because we play 4 minutes still, 5 minutes probably next season or maybe later this season, we'll see but nonetheless we're going to go ahead and hop in the game as this is our second home game excuse me i was gonna say our first but no we played at home against fcs east so let's go ahead and hop into this nonetheless we got the alternate ones on for this game our rank is 110 as we head into nice anchorage alaska for our home game stewart's got three receiving touchdowns gaddis has got three interceptions and hernandez has 11 tackles it looks like to be uh, they're a pretty balanced team as they got 190 rushing yards 582 passing yards and then as well as they have an interception on the defensive side of the ball then they are nationally ranked 58th all right here you go kids the bulldogs are gonna win this game well mm. Corso has the, or yeah, Corso, right? Or Kurt, Kurt that's not Herb Street, that's definitely, yeah, it's Lee Corso. Um, college college name day is, <laughs> game day is failing me as the Bulldogs elect to receive as we're going to get this one underway. As we're going to have to kick it off. They have a defensive threat and uh, they're definitely the juggernaut as you heard there. Well, let's see what uh, Mike Anderson, the 5'11 freshman, can do as Pancake, but he's going to get his leg in there to trip him up as he's going to be brought down around the 30 40 yard line i'm gonna definitely gonna think they're gonna pass a lot as the first play is gonna be a pass into triple coverage bonked around as um lee and the guys up in the booth are talking about their elite receiver right now so it's gonna be definitely something we have to watch out for as uh where is he he's down on the right side white is his name He's going to come out in a tight formation in the eye. Hernandez gets in the backfield, gets the play action man. Carter's going to run and make the tackle right before the first down on the tight end pass. Second and three now. As Let's see if we can get our get a first stop here. As juked out of our shoes, Sims is going to hurt, end up hurtling whoever that was. And that's going to be a rushing touchdown for the Bulldogs as they're already going to go up 7 to nothing. First and ten as they got that safety that they talked about pre-game. As we're gonna see what we can do here. As we're gonna drop back to pass. We already have Stewart on a quick slant as the linebacker could not get to his zone, but he's gonna take a hit for that one. But first down, Mountaineers. First down now as we're gonna go direct snap to Barbara's. <gasps> he's gonna fumble! Oh god. It looks oh my god. We're really gonna go back to like the first season. Or it's a fumble almost like every other possession or an interception. As is now the Bulldogs ball with great field position. Good field position. Let's see if our defense can hold him as he's going to throw it to the swing pass. As he's going to break a tackle and Todd's going to bring him down after about a gain of five. Second and three now as they line up in the shotgun formation here. As they're going to take an end zone shot to White and he was open. And he could basically just walk in. That's going to be another touchdown for the Bulldogs as they're not going to go up 14 to 0 really early in the first quarter here. First and 10 is going to come on the I formation. We're going to go ahead and toss it to Barbara. There's nowhere to go as he's going to be wrestled down behind the line of scrimmage for the loss of five. Second and long now for the Mountaineers as we're going to drop back to pass. We got Stewart with a step. What a thrown ball by Hurd as this going to be another first down to Stewart. As we're going to see if we can get something moving on this drive. Third down now. Trips to the right as we're going to look. We're going to... Collins diving, but no grab as the ball is going to drop out of his hands. Conley very close, but no. As we're going to have to go ahead and punt this one away now as we are too far backed up to think about going for it. First and ten now for the Bulldogs as they're going to come out after the small punt return as we're going to come off the edge with here with Hernandez as... He's going to try to fight as he's, oh, what a throw over perfect where only his freshman could catch it, Scott. Second and six as they're going to come out in the eye formation. Motion to the right as it looks like they're going to give it to him. Larkins read that one perfectly and brings him down behind the line. 
Third and 12 now as they're going to throw the swing pass as Todd's going to get spinned off again, but Johnson and uh, can't really see it. Hernandez is there to make the tackle, and we're going to be able to force this Bulldog offense to punt the ball away. First and 10, and are backed up on our 12-yard line. This counter with nowhere to go as Barber's going to fumble again. And the ball's going to come out, and Brown's going to pick it up for the Bulldogs. As they're going to have great field position inside their own red zone this time. As we're going to see what we can do on defense here. First and goal is going to go play action fake. Man open in the end zone, but he dropped it. Drops back to pass. Sack. The blitz was called, and he got his name called as he's going to be able to sack Bean behind the line. Gaddis got in there. There you go. Third and goal with the ball on the 15-yard line as we're bringing four. Our, just right over our middle linebacker, and then our, our cornerback just lost him. Like, he was right there. Like, look, look at this. Right over the middle linebacker. Or the outside linebacker, I believe. And then our safety or cornerback just couldn't get there to, like, even knock the ball there. <laughs> All right, 21 to zero now for the Bulldogs as uh, this is coming to the end of the first. First and 10, balls on the 21 yard line and Mike Anderson is in for his first offensive play of his career as we're gonna give the speedy tailback a toss to the right as he's gonna pick up a block. That, oh, the star safety is gonna track us down all the way from the opposite side of the field and we're only gonna get a gain of five. Second and five, the ball on the 26 now after the five yard runners. We're gonna drop back to pass and cannot get the ball away as the pressure was there as they only brought three, I believe. And that's gonna be a 12 yard loss. Third and long now and we're looking for calling up the seam as we're gonna try to put it on the outside shoulder. He's gonna catch it, but there is a flag down on the play. And this one could be on the defense. Oh, we're going to get bailed out with the pass interference call, and we're going to take our first and 10 at the 29. Nice automatic first down. Actually, I don't think that's how it works in this game, but we're going to get a lucky penalty and keep this hopefully drive wide for some points. First and 10 now is we're going to stay in the shotgun set. We're going to drop back to passes. I didn't see oh, another interception touchdown that's three turnovers now with two fumbles I didn't see the linebacker I thought this was gonna be our season that we could win maybe like four games you know get a lucky um, whack win get a, you know show that we could be in the whack be you know top of the whack for the first couple weeks as we play you know Fresno State um, but it looks like are no way uh, as Anderson fumbles again as we are now getting blown out by Fresno State. I don't think we're going to be able to be on the top of the whack, obviously, as we're about to lose our first conference game of the year. And we can't really do much about it. We're going to pass here as we're going to look for, oh my goodness, Thomas cannot get a foot down. I pressed the button and it didn't register. I must not have pressed it hard enough as it's going to be third and long now. We really need to complete this and get some points on the board before half. Third and 12, we have the ball on the 19. It's going to drop back to pass. We got... Are you... Thank you. I'm, yeah, I was about to say. Uh, I was running a crossing route. Thank you. I was running a crossing route post corner. And he stayed with the corner, but he ran into the guy with the post. So I couldn't throw it to him. He would have been open too. That's why I threw it. But because he ran into him, it slowed him down. So... Good thing I was able. Oh no, picked the wrong play. Good thing I was able to uh, get the pass interference call, or that would have been a disaster. First and ten now is going to go play action fake, as Hurd is scrambling. There's no one to throw to. As I just don't know what to do. I, I thought we would be able to compete against the Division One team, especially like Fresno State or some of the lower end teams. Even the Idaho last year gave us trouble. Our only close game last year was New Mexico State. It looks like this is going to be a season where we're going to be able to put up some points this year, but the games are still going to be very one-sided against these higher teams. I didn't even mean to throw. I heard, please. Ross just gets a boost of speed and runs to the end zone. It's already going to be 35-0 to for the Bulldogs. First and 10 for the Mountaineers now as... 
Let me see what we can do as we run the ball with Barbara. As there's nowhere for him to go as he's brought down after about the gain of one. Maybe back to the line. Ball's on the 12. It's going to drop back to pass. We have... Dude, are you serious? Another interception for Hurd. As that one's actually going to go to Heath. Uh, their star safety. This game is over. This game is over indeed, Lee, as we're going to have to still deal with the whole second half as the ball is in the end zone and McClellan's going to get mossed by White as he tried to make a play on the ball. It's now going to be 42 to 0. We've put Wade into the game um, as quarterback to step in for... Uh, Man that is throwing to the other team, Hurd, as we're going to give this one to Barber up the gut, as there's nowhere to go again, as he is brought down very quickly behind the line. I formation, second 11, as time is ticking. We're just going to see if we're going to be able to dink and dunk to maybe get a couple yards, as we can't, as uh, Barber's going to drop the pass off the back of his head. At half, the score is 42 to 0 for the Bulldogs, as it looks like this one's going to get ugly again. Just like last year, as we get to fulfill the kick to start the second half. First and ten for the Mountaineers, as Wade is still in the game. It's going to go play action. Dump off to Barber here, as he's going to break a tackle. Fall forward for the first down, as we're going to get another first down for this Mountaineers offense. Let's see if we can get anything cooking to maybe get some points up on the board. Second and 13, and we're going to go toss to the outside, as Barber's going to get around the edge. Cut up field, and get about a gain of six as that's going to be some more positive yards for this Mountaineers offense. Third and seven, same formation, but this time it's going to be a play-action fake as we're looking. We're going to... It went... Why, why can't he just catch it? Why has it got to go basically through him and get knocked down? Like, just catch the balls. We're going to have to punt this one away. Back to the Bulldogs. And if you can't tell already, I'm getting frustrated as Hernandez is going to go down there and try to make a tackle as White's going to make one man miss, another man miss, and... I'm getting so frustrated at this game that stuff like that's happening. I like he made two people miss, broke a tackle, and scored the punt return. Coming out in the big set, second and ten here is gonna go play action again, and we're looking. We're gonna go to Johnson, but the ball is well overthrown as he was open there on the little out route. Incomplete pass by Wade is now third and ten. Third and ten now is gonna go wide receiver crosses as we're looking. We're gonna throw the Deep ball to Stewart as that ball is also well overthrown. And is that the sixth turnover of the day? I think it's four picks, two fumbles, and our defense is coming on the field once again. Play action pass, and Todd's going to swat this one down on second and third. That should have been a pick, but that's a good pass deflection as it's going to be third down now. Third and three with the ball on the 33. Let's see what the Mountaineers can do. Let's see if they can hold the Bulldogs at bay for at least a field goal. As it's going to be a play action fake as Parker's going to catch and be brought down by two Mountaineers. Second and ten now as they're going to go right up the gut as he's going to have great blocking. And that's going to be a 13-yard gain, another first down for the Bulldogs. Six yards to go. Ten yards to the end zone. First and ten, or, or second and ten, excuse, or not even second and ten. They're second and they're at the ten yard line. And another passing touchdown for the Bulldogs. As even with the zone supposed to be in that coverage, they still get the touchdown. As it's going to be 56 to 0. As the Mountaineers are going to get the ball off the kickoff. A lot of people, even me, thought this was our season. As, um, as you can see, the difference here as they have 27. I mean, we have 27 plays for one yard, as you can definitely see the different production of both teams as we're going to come out on first down and try to run this ball as there's nowhere to go. No, but uh, as I was saying, it, I thought this was going to be our, like, not our season, but definitely like a growth season. Obviously, we've done better and we've won games, um, but just still getting blown out by Fresno State my old coach my old school nonetheless not my old coaching school I haven't coached but my old uh, school that I used to long snap at this is definitely uh, obviously 
Oh my god. A fumble? Are you are not again? Oh, come on. Barbara has like three fumbles this game. Like, see what I'm talking about? Like, we do good against FCS East. Like, so, okay, obviously we showed improvement because we didn't get blown out 66 0 by an FCS school. And then we play. And then we play um, Canada County, which is supposed to be the worst team. We can show that we can beat them, so we're not the worst team. But then we go and play Fresno State and get blown out by 56 0 right now. Probably going to be a lot more as uh, the game comes to a close as they're still throwing the ball as McClendlin can't get over there to make the interception as uh, it's going to be a five yard gain. Third and eight, we can possibly at least force a field goal as we can as the ball is going to be thrown down for the incompletion as he was pressured and we're going to be able to force a field goal. First and ten, the ball's on the 27 as we're going to drop back to pass first play. We're going to look for Stewart across the middle over the slant. He's going to make the catch and be about a yard or two shy of the first down. So that's going to take us in the fourth quarter. 59-0 as uh, a lot of the Mountaineers thought this could be the season where they are at least top four. As you can see, it's going to be a lot harder than that as we're getting blown out by 1-2 and two, Fresno State. I didn't see who their opponents were, but nonetheless, this game is definitely out of hand very quickly. Put the ball on the ground to Speedy Anderson. He's going to fall forward and get a first down and a great gain. Second and 12 is going to toss sweep to Anderson this time as... He's going to be able to pick up a block, but just the fast defense of the Bulldogs able to track him down after a five-yard gain. It's on third and seven. Third and seven as we're looking for slants with Stewart as there he is. Caught. Big hit, but holds on. First down, Mountaineers, as we're inching closer. First down, packed tight near the line. We're going to motion Stanley over as he's going to be able to line up in that tight end formation. We're going to throw the toss, hopefully get a block. We do try to cut up field, and... Barber's going to be brought down after about a gain of five or six. Second and three now. So we're going to go back to Barbara's. He's going to fall forward for another first down as we're getting really close to that red zone and that end zone. Let's see if we can put one in just before the end of the game. Second down and about 12 to go as we're in the I formation. Kind of bunched tight, but we're looking for Stewart here as he's open over the middle. As It's going to be caught big hit, but he holds on as we're going to be closer and closer to this first down the red zone and the end zone as we're in the red zone technically we're at the 20 yard line let's see what we can do now with it trips to the right as we're going to drop back the pass we're looking we're looking we're looking we're going to go over the middle to thomas as that ball's going to be thrown well short and that's going to be another interception as they have five interceptions on the game and uh that's basically going to do it as the bulldogs are going to have to take a couple knees and the game's over I formation is going to run counter to the left as McClendlin's not going to be able to make the tackle and Dickens is going to be gone for a big touchdown as Hernandez is not able to catch him as that was the longest run in NCAA history by a halfback and definitely a big blowout again against the Mountaineers and that's going to be the game after four quarters 66 to 0 for the Bulldogs as we thought this game was going to be a bit closer there towards the end and especially with how the last two games went I didn't think this game was going to be an extreme blowout like last season but nonetheless let's go and hop into some stats 69 total yards of offense 22 rushes for one yard 19 passes only seven completions for 68 yards we were sacked twice we had eight turnovers as four fumbles or four fumbles three lost five interceptions man oh man today was not a good day for the boys as uh 57 yards 11 yards for Hurd and ward four interceptions for Hurd, one for wade rushing anderson had 34 yards with seven attempts not bad for the speedy tailback 13 for negative 5, sacked for negative 28 yards, receiving 5 for 59, not the best game that he always has. Barber had 2 for 8 yards, no touchdowns, allowed 2 sacks, Pancake only 1, Hernandez with 3 tackles, 1 for loss. We did have 1 sack with Gaddis, as he also had 2 tackles, 1 for loss. 
Larkins also had two tackles, one for loss. As this goes ahead and saves and wraps up, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up myself. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I thought, man, I thought the Mountaineers were going to be a lot better this year. Obviously, we are um, improved. We're just not as good as I thought we could be, but... 2-1, not bad. Way better than last season, 0-12. Still getting blown out, but there's improvement. Obviously, that's what we like to see. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, come back for New Mexico State, which was our closest game last year at 7-3. So let's see what can happen because that was definitely our closest game as they scored 7 in the first quarter, and then we scored 3 in the third quarter, and nobody scored since. But make sure you guys come and check it out. Next time we play the one and two Aggies, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment, subscribe, whatever you gotta do. Um, tips, tricks, comments, concerns down below, please. It helps me, and uh, I guess I'll see y'all next time for week five. Goodbye.